Swamisnav is actually sending email, but receiver is actually not receiving the email. So how do we debug that? Okay, so you will check the logs. That is fine, but in, in the logs it will say like the service now has sent the email, but still the uh, receiver will actually confirm you that I he did not receive the email. Then how do you check so whether the email has email email has been sent or not? So we have actually email properties available here. Okay, so you can just go to the email properties. So in the email properties, we need to make sure so whether email sending enabled checkbox is checked or not. So whether if, when the email email sending enabled checkbox is checked, only then whatever the email that service now has sent will, will be received to the receiver. If this checkbox is not checked, receiver will not receive that uh, uh, email. Okay. So you will see that in the email logs, it has been sent. Okay. So here, usually guys, remember one thing I told you, right? We have actually dev instance, we have um, test instance and prod instance. So usually in the organizations, in the dev environment and test environments, this checkbox is unchecked always. Because in the dev environment and test environment, this checkbox is unchecked always. Okay. So why this checkbox is unchecked always means so alert notification should not go from dev environment and test environment. Notification should only go from prod environment. Okay. So whatever that are going from dev environment and test environment, sir, these are actually not, not not actually the alerts, the actual alerts, actual notifications. So that is why in the production and uh, production instance only this checkbox will be checked. In the non-production instance, these checkboxes are not checked. Okay, so so here send all emails to this test email addresses. So in the dev environment and test environment, you want to check whether the notification is being triggered to the receiver or not. So so if you keep whatever the email here, so I have actually kept my email here. So my email will receive the notification. Okay. Understand, right? Hmm? Okay. So these are some of the these are some of the email properties. Okay. So here these are actually outbound email configurations. So I told you right when service now is sending the notification that is called outbound email. So outbound email configuration. So similarly we have inbound email. Service now can also receive the emails. Service now can also receive the emails. So here, if you take a look at here, inbound email configuration here. So if service now has to receive the email, you have to check this checkbox. If the checkbox is not checked, service now will receive will not receive the email. Okay, fine. So I'm just saving this one. Okay, so here identify email as a reply by these subject prefixes. So if the subject contains re colon, aw colon, r colon, accepted colon, tentative colon, declined colon, if we see something like this one in the subject of the email, then we will consider that as replied email. Okay, so if the subject contains identify the email as forwarded by the subject prefixes, if the subject contains FW colon, FWD colon, so it will be identified as forwarded email. Okay. Service note can also identify whether that is new email or replied email or forwarded email by using this prefixes. Sorry. RE means reply. See, usually when you reply an email, right? In the subject, you will see RE colon. Did you ever notice that? Yes, so they. Hmm? So these are some of the configurations that are related to email properties. Okay. So here we have another property automatically create users for incoming emails from trusted domains. Suppose guys, um, 
let us say uh, you are actually sending an email to service no system you are sending an email to service no system but your email address is not there in the service no system then so if it has to create a new record new user record then you have to check this checkbox see let us say you have we have actually vamc here vamc vamc doesn't have account on my service no instance but vamc is sending an email his email address is not present in my user table as his email address is not present in my user table if it has to create a new user user record for vamc so if you check this checkbox it will create a user account for vamc okay so these are the email properties that you have to check check uh, when when our service now is actually receiving or when our service now is actually sending the email properly or not.